Hello everyone and welcome to Cosplay Tea Time, a fun and entertaining place where cosplayers from any and all fandoms can join. And we just like to take a moment out of our day, sit back, talk about various themes and topics, and of course have some tea or coffee in this case. We are celebrating National Coffee Day, which we do have a coffee recording. You should go totally check it out after this video. Which today we have another exciting color. Uh, theme for you all celebrating the color of orange but we'll get into that momentarily so as you can see I am all by myself not completely my cat's loafing in the corner a little gray storm cloud that he is so hope everyone's taking care of the storms out there um so yes before we dive into color themes and whatnot we always do our little icebreaker questions which I won't have the pleasure to ask folks about those but for you viewers out there, if you are, want to respond to any of these, go right ahead. I completely miss the most important uh, task of Cosplay Tea Time, which is introductions. So real quick, my name is Jen. I'm the founder of Cosplay Tea Time. I started about a year or so ago. Um, we're going to have a live stream, or I think the live stream is already done. But, you know, it's just a way to branch out. You know, have a sense of community among cosplayers, and I love tea. I love tea time, so combine the two together, and you have cosplay tea time. So, <laughs> yes, my name's Jen. You can find me Instagram, TikTok, YouTube at Jen Period Cosplays Forty Five. So, and my cat as well. You'll see him from time to time, begrudgingly. <sighs> Alrighty, so let's start with our first icebreaker question which is uh what inspired you to cosplay so if you're a fellow cosplayer out there and you're watching make sure you type a little comment down below what or even who inspired you to cosplay so for me personally i <clears throat> wanted to start cosplaying back in um, my early college days my undergrad days uh, you know, I was on Pinterest, I would see, like, amazing cosplayers, I would see, you know, like, those, like, uh, like, outfits based on a character. I forget what they're called. Uh-oh. Should have done a little bit of research before. It's okay. Figure it out later. I'll, I'll comment that below what it's called. But, you know, like, the different outfit styles and whatnot, so... Um, but yeah, I did want to do it. However, I didn't have time and I didn't have money because I would look at some of those cosplay pieces and I was like, that's quite a chunk of change. And I'm an undergraduate trying to make do with the financial situation here in college. You know how that is. So, but yes, um, so I wanted to, um, <clears throat> but then I started back in 2020 when the global pandemic hit, and then I just went into my closet, found a couple pieces that look like Nora Valkyrie going for, and was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try cosplaying. So here I am today, almost three years of cosplay. So it's crazy. Okay. Um, how do you get ready? Oh, that's that's for the next one. <laughs> you didn't hear that. <clears throat> Okay, so this one is a food-related question, which is, what is a food you will never tire of? I've, I saw this a few days ago where, like, these folks ate, like, the same food for, like, a week or something. It was crazy. Can't remember which channel that was, but I was just, like, eating the same food. I'm sure after, like, a day or two, you're just like, oh, yeah, it's the best thing. But I feel like after three or four days, I, I'd probably get bored. But one thing I will never tire of is uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because one you can use different types of jellies you can use different types of bread i always go for the creamy type of peanut butter i'm not a crunchy one i don't like crunchy peanut butter at all but yes pb and j and not only that i found out the other day um that you can use like little cookie cutters and make cute little shapes so and i do have a mouse uh cookie cutter as well so pb and j would be my choice <laughs> Okay, that wraps up a little bit about our icebreaker question. So again, make sure to comment down below some of your responses. And while you're doing that, let me tell you a little bit about Cosby Tea Time. It won't be as long, but if you're new here, this is uh, a place where, you know, cosplayers from any and all fandoms, whether it's anime, animation, gaming, um, we invite you to join. We just take a moment out of our day, you know, as we're busy cosplaying, go to conventions, and we just sit down, 
We have our snacks. I have some cookies and an orange and some cappuccino. And we just talk about, you know, random fandoms, different animes. We talk about the art of cosplaying, like sewing, mental health, prop making, and of course colors, which we'll get into in a moment. Um, so if you're a cosplayer out there and you're watching and you want to join, just be sure to message Cosplay Tea Time on our Instagram. Uh, it's cosplay underscore tea underscore time. Just look for the little mouse. He's sitting in a teacup surrounded by books and flowers, and he has a top hat. I remember it so. Bella, don't come after me. I remember this time. <laughs> um, yes, even if you can only join for like one episode, if there's one episode that you're like, oh, I really want to go to that one. Or if there's like a couple that you just want to attend here and there, you know, that's that's encouraged. You know, you don't have to attend every single recording. But, you know, if there's one or two that you're like really passionate about and you want to come and talk about it, you know, meet other people with that same... Uh, Weird choice. Yes. So, you know, you meet other folks in the fandom that also enjoy the same shows or might even add a few shows to their watch lists. I know I have a never ending watch list right now. <laughs> so, again, um, you know, we're just thankful for, you know, friends and fans that have shared our posts, liked, commented, subscribe, which you should do if you want to see more. We'll definitely have more tea sippers and guests join us in next coming episodes. So, definitely want to stay tuned. And then, as always, uh, do be sure to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok. We have a link tree. It's all there. So, And just message us on our Instagram. It's a bit easier if you want to join uh, the Cosplay Tea Time community. So that wraps up that. Moving on to our color theme, if you can't tell. Today's color we will be discussing is orange. So orange is a color between red and yellow. Uh, back in the day in ancient Egypt, it was a mineral pigment called realgar. I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right, but that's what it was called. And it was used for tomb paintings. Uh, before the late 15th century, the color orange existed in Europe, but without the name, it was simply called yellow-red. The color was also used by medieval artists for the coloring of manuscripts. Uh, there are many orange-colored flowers from daylilies, poppies, roses, hip hibiscus, and California poppies. Orange is also the national color of the Netherlands, so again, if that ever pops up on Jeopardy, we all know. And we also have orange ribbons are worn to support and raise awareness for many conditions and causes, including self-harm, ADHD, and mul multiple sclerosis. Scler sclerosis. I'm pretty sure I still didn't say that right. <laughs> but yes, there's a lot of orange. There was a lot of research for the color orange, and I was generally surprised. So, But we are going to talk a little bit about uh, different fandoms, what we like about the color orange, or at least y'all will be in the comments below. Um, let's see. So first we start out with your favorite shade of orange, which mine is probably the lighter... Uh, this might not be the best camera quality, but the very light orange, not like the pop bright orange. I just feel like it's a bit much, unless there's like a character or, or a reason, like, you know, like traffic cones or something. Those are bright orange for, for a good reason. But I like the softer, especially with like other colors, just very soft, very autumn-y. You know, we're in autumn right now. We have red, orange, and yellow. Well, yellow's coming up here. Podcast recording to celebrate autumn, so... And I just found out the other day, my hubby's favorite color now is orange. It used to be red, but now it's orange, so. <laughs> okay, have you ever wanted to dye your hair orange, or have you dyed your hair orange? So you can see, I have an orange wig, this is for Nora. But I have, um, I did like a red-orange, again, check out the red podcast recording, you'll probably see it there. But yes, I have tried to do, um, like an orangey color... Um, it came out pretty good, at least I thought so. It went well with my eyes, my skin complexion and stuff, but again, it fades very fast on me, and I don't think I was washing or taking care of it right, but I do like, I do like the look of uh, orange hair. Whenever it's not too bright, if it's like very natural within like blonde or like a light brown, I think it's really beautiful. Okay, we have what clothing item best, uh, 
is best for the color orange. I couldn't think of anything. I really don't have a lot of orange stuff. Or clothing stuff, I guess you could say. Um, I do have a couple wigs. I do have like an orange crop top that I was not going to wear for this because I was just like, ah, I don't want to get taken out by YouTube. <laughs> but I do have this nice orange scarf. Um, my grandmother actually made this for me for another cosplay from May Marigold, like a closet cosplay May Marigold. So I do have a very nice orange scarf and I love this scarf so, so much. So if I had to go with anything, it probably be a scarf or you know like a t-shirt if it's like a dark orange t-shirt then definitely that <clears throat> okay we have what mood best fits the color orange to be honest this one was a bit tricky um I'm trying to think because i'm like you know it's either like it's so funny how it's in between like red and yellow because red's like very bright and bold and whatnot. So like I think like the bright orange is like being bright and bold. But then you have yellow that's a bit softer in color. You know, it's a little bit more relaxing to look at. But then, you know, and then sometimes you have like, you know, your soft oranges and whatnot that are very nice. So it was like, I think it's such an in-between mood. I don't know, maybe, maybe orange is the color of Gemini's. Saying my sign out loud. Anywho, moving on. We have what food or drink best fits the color orange. And it's so funny when we were preparing for this, uh, uh, like the different color recordings and stuff, everybody was like, well, orange. Orange is orange. And I'm like, there's got to be other foods. So, of course, good old Google, hashtag not sponsored, um, brought up carrots, brought up apricots, uh, cantaloupe, pumpkins. We're in the fall season. Um, sweet potatoes. I have a bag of delicious sweet potato chips upstairs, you guys. So good. Um, <clears throat> there's also different spices. I was actually looking for a spice the other day and I found some, like, orange spices. And I forgot to mention it during the red podcast real quick because there's a lot of red spices. But anywho, so yeah, there's quite a bit. You know, you have, like, orange juice. Um, I do have an orange spice tea. But it's very strong. It's very potent. I wouldn't be able to make like one cup with it. I'd have to make like a giant pot of it because it's just so strong. It's good, but it's just... So we went with cappuccino. <laughs> okay, wrapping up, we have what character best represents the color orange. Um, I have... I don't know if y'all have seen her before. You gotta go watch the recording and see if you can find Miss Poppy from Rainbow High. Uh, it's a show on YouTube. <clears throat> but yes, we have Miss Poppy. She represents color orange. She has like an orange hair. It looks kind of blondish. It has a light. It looks more orange in person. I think it's the light, but she represents the color orange in the friend group and whatnot. We also have Nora Valkyrie. His hair color is orange. I looked it up on Ruby Wiki before I joined. Yeah, Penny Pondino's orange hair. And there's also an anime series uh, called Orange. I was like the first thing that popped up in the Google search when I was like, well, who, who has orange hair and stuff? So, but there is an anime called Orange. I remember watching it a few years ago. It was pretty decent. I remember the music was really good. Um, I cannot remember the story. And it was about like some high school students. They were trying to like time jump or time skip or their like past selves were trying to like talk to their future selves. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. I don't want to say too much, but it's like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's interesting. And again, the music's good, so. Oh, last one. We have what song or artist fits the color orange? And again, this one was tricky. Uh, so I had to cheat and screenshot, so forgive me, I'm on my phone. Uh, we have Orange Colored Sky by Nat King Cole. Orange Crush by R.E.M. Ooh. Evolution Orange by Earth, Wind, Fire, Orange Peel by Ruben Wilson, and Orange Airplanes by Screaming Trees. Okay, that one sounds pretty interesting. I might listen to that one later. <laughs> so, yeah, those to your playlist. <laughs> That's what we should do, Cosplay Tea Time Spotify color playlist with all the songs. Wait, wait I, I am planning on eventually getting us into Spotify. I'm just so, I'm almost done figuring out YouTube enough to then go to Spotify. I'm just... Be patient with us. That's all I ask. Anyway, that's a conversation for another time. But that does wrap up our uh, lovely 
tea time hour so again thank you all for watching i usually ask folks for questions but you know y'all are welcome to put your questions down below make sure you put your responses to our questions for today's recording down below um you know if you're, again if you're a cosplayer and you want to join an awesome cosplay community highly recommend cosplay tea time not because i founded it or hosted it or anything like that but because there are some hard-working dedicated people within the server that just love to talk about shows love to help one another we have like a whole cosplay thread of just like help me what do i do how do i style this wig and folks are just so kind and patient to to respond to that so i think we need that more in the cosplay community so come join us <laughs> as they would say all right but otherwise we're on instagram tiktok we got a lot of fun stuff coming up so again subscribe hit that like leave us a kind comment we greatly appreciate it so thank you all so much for watching hope you're taking care staying safe and as always keep sipping away Hi, I have successfully snuck all in the guard wearing nothing but orange this whole time. And that's the thing that mouse is going to do to suck the thing. Because I, the evil and great holy color monster. Stop! In the name of the mouse. This is tea time territory. Leave before I summon the stinky cheese upon you. Not before I become the king of this podcast and overthrow Jay. Not today, Buster. Victory is on!